Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Emirates Society of Thermology Studio. My name is Khaled Abu Haliqa. I'm the uh, Vice President for the Emirates Society of Thermology. It gives me great pleasure today to, uh, uh, to interview and host uh, Dr. Ahmed Al Fodari. Dr. Ahmed Al Fodari is a consultant oculoplastic surgeon. He's the president of the uh, Kuwaiti Ophthalmic Society. Um, actually, I would like to congratulate Dr. Ahmed for uh, uh, becoming the president of the Kuwaiti Ophthalmic Society uh, recently. It, uh, the uh, voting uh, was done, I believe, uh, last month. Uh, welcome, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you, Dr. Khaled. The pleasure is all mine. I'm really enjoying all aspects of your very successful conference. The venue, the, the socialities, even the weather. I love the weather here. Oh, you love the weather? <laughs> it's not too cold, rainy? Yes. <laughs> very nice weather. That's good. That's good. I wanted to go a little bit deeper about your experience uh, with the Emirates Society of Thermology. You have been a regular uh, um, guest with us uh, in the Emirates Society in the past uh, few years. Uh, I want to you to tell me in your own words how do you feel the changes have been in the last uh, few years until our 21st edition well uh, the change is very obvious everyone is talking about since its beginning uh, it was in dubai at the start i remember and i'm witnessing how it's getting bigger and the scale is bigger it's even competing with the middle east conferences and i'm Looking forward, it's going to compete worldwide. So the changes are obvious in all aspects of the conference. The venue, the talks, the agenda, the audiovisuals, and the side activities are very unique. Mm -hmm. The cinema, the Olympics was amazing. Everyone was really enjoying, and uh, it was a good vibe. Yeah. It was a good vibe. I'm really glad that you like it. We always are interested in uh, forging our relationship with our sister uh, Gulf uh, societies. And Kuwaiti is on top of that, obviously. Uh, our relationship with our uh, Kuwaiti uh, brothers and sisters is... Exceptional. Deep, is, is exceptional. So um, how do you see this uh, relationship moving forward? Where would you like it to be and how we can, uh, do you think we can collaborate in the future? Yeah, thanks to your team and led, led it by uh, Dr. Sheikh Anoura. Uh, the idea started like three years ago. We were in uh, Jeddah and our aim is to make like uh, Gulf societies uh, together in one society and we are even trying to find a name for it. Mm -hmm. So this is our goal. Uh, we have uh, very respected and uh, esteemed speakers. They are in internationally recognized. Uh, and we consider to have a good weight in the Middle East. So I believe if we collaborate even more, we might have like two yearly conferences uh, together with all the societies, with even larger scale conferences, and we'll decide in it to be one city of the Gulf interchanging uh, in two yearly basis, not annually. Mm -hmm. This was yeah, an idea, and I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, it, my, you're making it every two years so that it, we don't cancel our own uh, conferences? Exactly, uh, exactly. So in the cycle of the two years, there will be only one, but then the rest will be still ongoing. Exactly. Uh, I see the idea. It looks uh, very promising. The, this collaboration, um, do you feel that we can even move beyond the conferences? Is there any way, you know, extra conference activities that we do? Uh, I'm sure you guys are doing, we are doing as well. Uh, we can learn from each other. Um, where would you think we can learn? What kind of aspects we can learn beyond the conference? Yeah, we can establish courses. Mm -hmm. uh, even wet labs, hands-on obser uh, observations, uh, uh, because there are so many hospitals now. So, yeah, I think beyond the conferences, we can establish 
fellowships even. Yeah, academic kind yeah. of uh, academic kind of involvement. So the academic, uh, we recently started doing the MRT board here in uh, oh, congratulations. the UAE, and uh, uh, programs have uh, become accredited already in the MRT board for ophthalmology, and they are going for uh, exams soon. You, you in Kuwait have the Kuwaiti board and you have it established for a while, I believe. Yes. Um, and uh, maybe there is ways to kind of uh, collaborate on that. Uh, the MRT Society of Ophthalmology, um, we want to collaborate with our sister societies on all aspects, academic, research, uh, social, obviously, and the conference as well. Um, now, from the point of view of the research, um, you know, we do you uh, envision maybe uh, collaborating further on uh, doing a multi-centered studies. Uh, that's what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, our, our we are uh, related genetically. Yes. So our diseases are very mimicking each other. So uh, having more data and data flow yeah. connected with our centers, I think we're going to establish uh, great uh, researches and results. Take Keratoconus, for example, when mm -hmm. it was established, uh, its own society, mm -hmm. uh, when we were in Miyako, Masqat, yes. they showed how we are the number one prevalence of Keratoconus, as an example. Mm -hmm. The other thing is also cases of retinoblastoma. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have multiple, multidisciplinary, all the centers collaborating with each other, we might find even new solutions or new treatments, modalities, and how to screen further and genetic screening and all. Yeah, so this is another way to collaborate also. Yeah. Well, Dr. Ahmed, as I mentioned before, it's really uh, our deep pleasure to kind of work with you. And I understand you as uh, the president of the uh, uh, Kuwait uh, Ophthalmic Society, the new president, and you're, we ha you have a new board as well. Uh, you have um, ambitions and uh, uh, targets uh, looking forward. What is, uh, what is your plans for? Well, I'm glad to say that you raised the bar really high now. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, we are learning from you. You are our inspiration and all the Gulf societies, and our allies and brothers and sisters and friends. So, um, yeah, we are trying in our own aspect to uh, also make it more recognized. Uh, the thing is, Kuwait started uh, conferences since 1988, but uh, the marketing and organization is not very visible. So when we start, uh, when we started like uh, taking inspiration from you, now we are getting worldwide recognized. Uh, the, the amount of uh, colleagues who are willing to attend in our conferences you know, gives me words in my heart and how they eager to come, mm -hmm. like you and the rest of the members. Yeah. So we're going to try to do something different, something new, but keeping the flow of the scientific program almost similar so that it's going to be easier later to complement together in, in a bigger, larger scale conference. Yeah. I mean, Kuwait and the Kuwaiti uh, ophthalmology uh, uh, landscape has been long and uh, for many, many years. And there's many Kuwaitis who are ophthalmologists. And I don't know the number, you probably know more than me, but it, it feels like there is a lot of uh, 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 specialized uh, Kuwaiti ophthalmologists in the subspecialties, and the, their market is worldwide. And it just makes sense. Uh, to see the progress of the Kuwaiti Ophthalmic Society as it goes forward. I understand you have a conference coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about your conference? Yeah, it's going to be after Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. So it's going to be February 15th, Wonderful. so that you remember. Yes. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, we're we're going to have it uh, in the venue of uh, Waldorf Astoria Hotel. It's going to be on uh, three days. Uh, same structure and DNA of ESO, two channels of screen, also wet labs. Yep. And um, uh, we're going to have a, a unique gala dinner. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm looking to your gala dinner tonight. <laughs> I like the one the last year. Thank you. Uh, so, see you there.
Yes, we look forward to that. It's going to be really, I'm sure it's going to be nice. I'm myself looking forward to attending the conference. Uh, and representing the Emirates Society of Ophthalmology there. Uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, is, as I said, uh, and I all, will always say, your, your uh, Emirat is your home, it not even your second home. home, your home. It is my home. Uh, uh, please uh, feel it as your home, as Kuwait is my home as well. It is. Uh, so we are always happy to have you here with us. I thank you again for giving me the time uh, today for the interview. Uh, dear uh, uh, guests on the uh, online, uh, we really appreciate your uh, attention with us. I hope uh, this uh, interview shed a little bit of a light of our uh, uh, relationship between the Emirates Society of Ophthalmology and the Kuwaiti Ophthalmic Society. And uh, looking forward to your uh, attention for the next interview. Thank you very much and have a good day.